Hey guys, this is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner. Hope you've been enjoying some of the videos. I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel, it helps me get more content out to you faster. I'm gonna start diving a little bit more granular. We're at my favorite place in the world. This is where I grew up. It's the Village of Stump Sound. Village of Stump Sound is separated into two phases. You got your ocean side phase, which is north and south Bermuda. So what's nice about that is even second row houses have kind of no traffic when you're crossing the street. So if you have a house here, you don't want the busy street, it's great. And then you have the sound side, which is the second phase, which is where I grew up. I love sound, I love the water. I think you, by now you know I love fishing. So we're gonna take a peek at some of the fine things here. If you're an owner, you get to use the clubhouse, which is such an undervalued thing in my opinion. You have an oceanfront clubhouse that you can see everything and have a party here. And it's part of your amenities. People don't take advantage of it in my opinion. You got tennis courts here, you got kayak launches here. I mean, guys, it's just the, all the treasures of the thing. Another thing is the closest nearest public beach access is like a quarter mile that way and like almost the same distance that way. So really it's just this span of houses that really isolate this part of the beach. It's one of the things I love about this place, guys. It really is a fantastic place. I am biased towards it because I grew up here. My parents built two different houses here. I absolutely love the Village of Stump Sound and it's south of the high rise bridge and it's just, it's just a magical place to me. And we got a good day, which is low tide, which will actually show you, look how much sand is out here, guys. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. So not just being here at the Village of Sump Sound, we're gonna go through some things. I've got a special presentation, which is a new listing coming up that has some fantastic features. We are gonna do a walkthrough of that house. I'll show you when we get there, you're gonna love it. And I think, you know, if you're looking for a little bit more of a community type feel with some great amenities. It is a great place to either live or rent, guys. I, I spent my summers here. I absolutely love the Village of Stump Sound, just like anything else. But to me, this is one of, if not my favorite or the most premier place on the island. And it's not because of it's the newest, it's because of what it has to offer to me is so spectacular. So let's go take a look at some of these amenities. Let's go. So as you guys see behind me, this is the clubhouse right here. This whole open space is in there. I mean, there's tables. I know when my parents used to live here, my mom would play mahjong with her friends in there and stuff. I mean, they got great tables. The picture my mom drew when we got here in 1995 is still inside there. I don't have a code anymore to get inside the clubhouse. It's just for owners, by the way. Can't have guests use it, sorry. Another thing I forgot to mention, just bathrooms right around the corner. So if you're leaving the beach, guys, bathrooms are right here and they're clean as can be, I promise you. They keep this place pretty tidy all the time. Walking through here is just so normal and natural for me. I just love it. Bathrooms right here, all on code so that people that don't belong can't use it. You've got a handicap ramp as well to get you all the way up and down. My son used to skateboard up and down that all the time. And here is your pool, community pool. Great place, guys. It's just really a magical spot, so. Let's keep going. All right, guys, so we are at the bottom of the clubhouse stairs and the pool's right there. That little thing I was gonna tell you about, that little sneak peek we were talking about, is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and it's, uh, you might be figuring out, you might not, but we're gonna walk across the street and show you how easy it is to get from here to there. Let's go. By the way, that is the dock that my parents designed. My dad designed that dock and they still use it as the logo. It, it, we bought the lot before there was even a street here. So that gives you an idea of how long I've been here and how much I love this place. It should. We are here at 103 Old Village Lane. I'm getting ready to list this property, guys. This is from a premier developer. It's Capital Assets Topsail Development. If you're not sure about them, look them up. They build quality houses. And with the quality that they make these things, it, they are invaluable. The items and materials they use help the longevity of the house. You guys are gonna love this place. I'm gonna tell you two things, and we're gonna go through a lot of them, but this house is the biggest in the neighborhood with eight bedrooms and has one other thing. I'm not gonna spoil it yet. You're gonna see it. So let's go ahead and take a peek.
awesome. So I'm standing here looking back towards the sound that's ocean that way. You can see my truck in the background. So your main entrance is gonna be right here. We're gonna go ahead and head under there and start the walk in. Let's do it. All right, so when we walk in guys, bear with us, it's still under construction. We're, they're almost finished with it. I think it's about two weeks out. Elevator right here, guys. You get tired of the stairs, you go all the way up and down. So you don't even have to take the stairs. So we're gonna go ahead and go up and check out the first level right here. All right, guys, so walking up from the ground level to what I call the first level. Five bedrooms here, guys, five. All right, we're gonna start on the ocean side and we're gonna take a peek on the first one over here, actually, I faked you out. This is the master bedroom. So what a spacious place, guys. This thing's gotta be 20 by 16. It's huge. And you know, you've got your DP 50 windows. For people that don't know, haven't lived here, these are impact windows. Does anybody know what that means? Some people are probably laughing at me, but impact windows are just like windshields. When they get hit, they crack, but they don't shatter. So. Super nice, convenient thing to have when you're in an environment like we are with the hurricanes and storms, and you might have an atom come off and hit rather than it smash right through. It's gonna hit, it's gonna crack the window, but it won't actually shatter through, so. And we walk into the bathroom on this lovely, I mean, it's space galore. Look at these dual sinks here, tiled in shower, double built-in holders, stainless steel. I mean, here's your bathroom in here. Man, nine foot ceilings, guys, this is just a really tastefully done house in my opinion. You know, and a lot of people look and say, man, it's crazy, it's not ready yet. It's close, you know, they got little things, but that's in every build process. But the main thing is you don't have to wait. The other thing is you don't have to decide whether you want it to be a vacation rental or your primary residence or just a secondary home. So you get your choice. Oceanside, first floor, second bedroom, right here. This is a sweet bathroom. So it's got its own bathroom. It's got its own shower in here. I know it's hard to see guys, the lights aren't on, we're not quite ready yet, uh, but we still wanted to get this to show you guys because it's important for you to see. So you have the opportunity to have the most bedroom house in here. Think about the rental income from that. So let's go. And I'm not, oh, no, I'm not telling you the secret yet, but we're gonna find it. We're gonna walk down the hallway here and see bedroom number three. Right here, got its own closet. I personally would put a couple bunks in here or if somebody needs their own room, then you're all set. You got a bathroom, which will be shared by these two bedrooms. Let's go ahead and check this bedroom out. Now what's nice about this bedroom? Look at that view of the sound, guys. That is absolutely magical back there. Again, DP 50 windows, impact resistant. Guys, it's just quality products that you need in houses and this one's never been lived in. So lots of options for you. We are going to head this way now. Now it gets a little dark in here. This is your elevator that we saw downstairs. Washer and dryer right there. More storage here. Hot water heater. There is your shutoff valves right there for the water. Bedroom number five. Huge window here. Less than a ton of light. Uh, this is another sweet bedroom. So, you know, guys, this is what's popular nowadays. Like I said, who wants to share a bathroom? I don't, I don't like sharing bathrooms, but you know, this is what makes it good for rentals. It also makes it good for personal use. We're gonna step outside to the deck. So walking out to the first deck, first level. Look at those views, guys. I swear it's, you know, it's a magical place for me. I, I know people don't like to hear it, but there's bald eagles that live back there. There's otters that have been in the canal that's down the way. There's deer, there's ducks, there's just wildlife here. It's kind of abundant. I've seen foxes in yards here, you know, like I said, deer, everything, guys. You don't understand how pretty and peaceful and serene this is. You got intercoastal waterway views. You're gonna have sunset views. You're gonna have ocean views. We're gonna get to that. I'm trying not to give you too many spoilers, guys, but you know, this is all composite siding as well. Composite siding is hardy board, as people know it, or spun uh, concrete. This stuff's like rocks. Look at it, hear it? That's not vinyl, that's hard stuff. That's what you want for the hard days and the tough environment that we live in. You need that, in my opinion. So let's go on in and we'll go up to the top level. Let's go. Look at this. You hear that? Oak tread staring. What does that tell you? That expenses were not spared when building this house, guys. I can't explain how big this ceiling in here. It's gotta be 16. You know, I'm short guy. I could probably fit three of me probably in here at least. So it's gotta be 16 feet in here. 
What an open feeling for all the people and entertainment that you'll be doing in here. All the windows are just expansive, giving you all that natural light. And there's the ocean right there. We'll get to that in a moment, but here is your entertainment area, guys. Everything is here. Look at the size of this island. I mean, what do most people do when they entertain? At least I like to be in the kitchen, but I still like to see what's going on and everybody talks. Guys, this is a really cool place. So we're gonna walk back and see the rest of the bedrooms. So you can take a peek at everything here. Details, guys, real glass backsplash. I mean, it's the details. We got a bathroom right here. It's also a shower. It's gonna look perfectly clean when we're finished. Over here, you got your bedroom right here. Closet, beautiful sound view. It's absolutely, this is, you know, another one of those bedrooms that isn't the biggest, but it's got plenty of space in here, guys. Elevator, right here. Another hot water heater. That's dual hot water heaters, guys, to make sure when you come back from the beach, when everybody wants to shower at the same time, uh, you probably shouldn't run out of water. This is bedroom number seven. All right, fantastic. This is a Jack and Jill. So we're walking through. You got your Jack and Jill in here. You got your full shower with a bench in there. Here is bedroom number eight, right here. The amazing part about this house, a lot of people will say oceanfront's best, oceanfront's the best. A lot of risk with oceanfront. I don't mind it, but you have to understand the risk and weigh the pros and cons. You don't have to worry about that with a non-oceanfront house. Let me explain why. You have streets that are paid by the city that's maintained. These are private streets though, but camera setbacks are not gonna be there. You're not gonna lose land that way with a hurricane storm. You're gonna lose stuff from that side. So you don't have to worry about setbacks here. This deck right here, guys, you can see the ocean, the clubhouse. It still has live natural oaks giving you guys some privacy. Like the combination of this thing is just really put together very well. And obviously guys, this is not the finished product. So everybody knows about construction. It takes a few things to get everything dialed in to be ready to roll. So it's a beautiful place. It's absolutely fantastic. And there's one more thing I gotta show you. I'm gonna bring you to the secret now. Let's go, let's go do it. Let's do it. I can't hold it anymore. Let's go. Look at this expansive view. Really, really guys, you have to follow me over here just to see exactly the secret I've been holding. If that doesn't give you the wow factor, I don't know what will. One of the biggest complaints I get from my friends that still live here is the pool gets too crowded in the summer. There's tenants out there that, you know, guess what? You don't have to think about that anymore. You got your own. Or you can go over there and hang out with some other people. It's up to you. That also is a one of a kind thing in this, my favorite neighborhood. Eight bedrooms, private pool. Nothing else in here competes with that. So just want to give you that, guys. I hope you find some of this content. And again, please hit that like smash button, whatever they say, you know, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. Again, this is 103 Old Village Lane. I absolutely love this neighborhood. I think this is a fantastic house. The builder did an excellent job. Um, I'm passionate about what I do. I think you guys can tell that. And this will make somebody a great whatever type of home you want to use it for. Guys, this is Tanner Gray, also known as Tops of Tanner, and I'll see you on the next one. You might notice this spot before. It's actually my intro video started here. This is the village of Stump Sound. This is the kayak launch. I think their intentions were to be a boat launch, but it's not paved. It's, you try to get a trailer in there, it's gonna get stuck up to the axle of mud. So just launch kayaks and canoes and Look, there's oysters back in here. You know, there's everything that you can imagine if you want to just come right over here and use it. Great amenity to have, guys. Even this dock. I used to take my son here fishing all the time. It feels like such home to me. I can't describe how much I love this place. And it's just another amenity that you get when you're in the village of Stumps out. All right.